Thanks, Dan. We'll see you a little bit later in the show. More rallies in the wake of the Justice Department's decision not to file civil rights charges against an NYPD officer involved in Eric Garner's death. Nate Rogers attended a Manhattan rally and heard from Garner's supporters. Nate? Allison, many people recall the Black Lives Matter movement intensifying five years ago today after Eric Garner's infamous words, I can't breathe. More than 1,000 people marched along Lafayette Street near Foley Square in Lower Manhattan Wednesday afternoon, demanding that NYPD officer Daniel Pantaleo be fired for his role in Garner's death. Garner supporters also saying they're not backing down despite another setback. The city, our government, um, federal government, the Department of Justice, every level of which the family could have potentially received justice has failed this family. As, as far as like I'm concerned, this is our America. It's not going to change and we're gonna stand up for what's right and we're not gonna move. Earlier in the day, I caught up with local Black Lives Matter leader, Hawk Newsom. Newsom said it's discouraging to once again see another unarmed black man killed and the actions of the white officer involved justified. It, it hurts, it sits you down for 15 minutes, but then you up fighting for the next 15 hours. Even though the medical examiner ruled Garner's 2014 a homicide, a grand jury and the Department of Justice decided not to indict Pantaleo. Pantaleo placed Garner, 42 years old, and a father of six in a chokehold while trying to arrest him for selling untaxed loose cigarettes. Newsom calls it layered corruption. You had black people running the Department of Justice. Nothing happened. You have uh, white conservative racists running the Department of Justice now. Same result. Politics fails our people consistently. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Police Commissioner James O'Neill is expected to announce by the end of August if Pantaleo will be fired. Garner's supporters are promising 11 days of outrage. In New York, I'm Nate Rogers for Chasing News. Thanks, Nate. Let's bring in tonight's A-plus panel on this one to break it down. We have Afia Yunus via Skype, immigration attorney. Hi, Afia. Hi, Allison. And with us in studio, Matt Rooney, attorney and editor of the Save Jersey blog. Hi, Matt. Great to be here. Matt, we're going to start with you on this one. You know, you saw Nate's piece. It's been five years, but there's still protests. What's going on and when is this going to die down? I get why people want justice in this case. It's no mystery. I, I'm still shocked and I'm dismayed that people aren't focusing on the original issue here, which is how can it be legal in the United States of America for men to put in a chokehold over unlicensed cigarettes? This, con this confrontation should never have happened. It's big government, it's worse. If you want to prevent the next Eric Gardner situation, that's where you should start. But we've had a grand jury look at this. We've had the Department of Justice look at it. Sometimes really bad things happen or mistakes are made that doesn't necessarily rise to the level of criminality. At this point, you're, you're harping on something where there just isn't anything. Afia, is it time for Mayor de Blasio to step in here? Well, I think it's interesting that you're saying it's been public because the police tried to hide this from the public. And I hope Mayor Bill de Blasio does something about this. It's unfortunate that up until now, um, nothing has been done. If this was a white man choked, by a black cop and the white man at 11 times, I cannot breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I guarantee you that the results would have been good. Well, it's been five years to the day, and we're still arguing these same questions. It seems like there's no end in sight. Thanks, guys.